Today's video is going to be a what's inside my backpacking backpack. <laughs> um, so this is it. It's kind of gigantic. Um, it's a Gregory backpack. I don't know the exact liters of it. <laughs> This is gonna be like stuff I take when we go like hammock camping. Um, so I mean, not everything's gonna be in here. Like I usually carry the food, and that's not gonna be in here. Well, hello, horse. Hello. You wanna be in the video? So there's the neighbor's horse. He's pooping right now. <laughs> Okay, bye! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so this is going to be everything that, everything that we take, um, hammock camping, like I said, no food, um, now if this, if we were going, like, tent camping, I would carry half of the tent and Cameron would ha carry half of the tent, so this is just going to be my hammock stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, so first things first, I always carry a hat that I never use. It says big cheese on it because I used to be a cheesemonger. If you don't know what that is, it literally means that I cut cheese all day. Insert fart jokes. And I haven't actually taken this bag hiking yet because I had a different bag. Um, so Cameron actually got me this bag for Christmas last year. I wanted this. Okay. So the consignment shop, it's called Roanoke Mountain Adventures. And you take all your old gear there that you don't want anymore. And then you can, you know, buy other people's stuff that they didn't want anymore. So we took my bag there. Well, at least our river. We went in there several times because we have put tons of stuff on consignment there. And I saw this bag like every time we were going in there. And I was like, I really want that bag. And then one day we went in there and it was gone. And I was like, man, so I bought it. And then I swore, like, Cameron was acting fishy. So, like, I thought he bought it. And he kept saying he didn't. So I believed him. And then Christmas comes around, and he bought it, so I got the bag I wanted. So, yeah, anyway, I have not taken it out yet, so we'll see how that goes. But my last bag used to, like, rub my sides, so I didn't like that, and it was not a good time. So, first things first, my camera. And then again, I take the food... I usually carry the food, so I've got the bowls and, like, mugs that we use. Uh, something that I might have to use because it looks like there's a thunderstorm, or there is a thunderstorm, like, behind me, so it might rain on me. So, rain jacket. It's a marmot rain jacket, and it folds up into itself, or into its pocket, I should say. Um, I went ahead and put some clothes in here just to you know give you an example so we've got a beanie and then I stay cold no matter what as you can see it is I think it's still summer I think fall's supposed to start tomorrow but you know it, it was like 80 degrees out and I got a hoodie on so I got a beanie and my little buff that I wear on my face smart wool socks they are the best socks ever I think uh, my down jacket down jacket and this is like as if it were going to be cold out like because hammock camping it gets pretty chilly Especially if you're like us and don't have underquilts. 
and then Eno, Eno hammock of course, and then our gorilla bug net. You know, I don't want any bugs up in my hammock while I'm trying to sleep. Uh, some thermal leggings, long sleeve shirt, dry bag to put our trash and whatever else needs to go in it. This is a little itty bitty pillow. Sleeping pad to go in the hammock. And I can always like do an example, I guess. Show you guys how that works, how I how we set up our hammocks. Uh, this is a tarp from Outdoor Vitals. And then last but not least. I'm sure that was loud. <laughs> My outdoor vitals sleeping bag. It's a Summit 20 degree sleeping bag. It's pretty nice. So yeah, that is it that's in there. I'm like trying to do this fast because it, it really might start pouring. My headlamp, which if you are friends with me on Facebook, you know that I lost this. And we searched, I swear, we searched the whole house and could not find it. And then that, my old bag, like I, I looked in it too and did not see it. Like Cameron looked in it, didn't see it. I checked it multiple times. And then we took that bag to Rurnick Mountain Adventures and they called Cameron and said that the person that bought the bag brought my headlamp back to the store because it was still in the bag. I don't know how, like I swear, looked in it like multiple times, like probably 10 times I looked in that bag and Cameron looked in it. So thank you to that person because I really like this headlamp. And we've got in this pocket, chapstick and Bluetooth headphones. So yeah, that is everything inside my bag. I mean, like I said, usually I have food and then more water than what I had. Or if we're sleeping in a tent, I'll have part of the tent. So I don't have everything here, but that's just an example of what I would take with us if we were hammock camping. I guess if you want to see what it looks like with the hammock all set up with like everything, sleeping pad, tarp, bug net, everything, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below and I'll make another video and show you guys how I do that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I take with me backpacking. <laughs> um, again, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Mm, bye!